What's up, you homies? It is your homegirl, Natalie, and welcome to today's video where I will be styling fall 2022 trends. Now, <laughs> you gotta see how this guy looks like. Hi, LV. What's up? Emmy, do you want to come? Come. You already know how I feel about trends if you haven't watched this video already but just to give you a little snippet of it essentially trends aren't something that you're supposed to use as like law and you have to follow or anything no it's just meant to serve as something to get inspiration from you take the things that you like and you incorporate that into your own wardrobe and you wear it the way that you want to that is how trends should be looked at okay do not look at this as like I need to go ahead and buy whatever thing because this is trendy right now no nothing of that Another thing that I want to add is I just created all these outfits with the things I already have in my wardrobe. So hopefully it inspires you to just have fun with styling your clothes. I definitely had fun with styling some of these because some of these things I'm like, mm. but I was like, you know what? I was trying to do a thing and why not, right? All right, let's get on to the first trend. All right, the first one is what they're calling punk futurism. So as the name states, it is gravitating away from the traditional 70s like UK punk scene that was trendy back in fall of 2020, I believe. This is more leather layering, neutral plaids, black of course, and more embellishments on clothes. Obviously when you think of my wardrobe, you don't think of punk nor do you think of all black. <laughs> but there are some things from this that I want to incorporate into my wardrobe and one of those things is leather pants. I have been on the lookout for this for the longest freaking time. I almost got some at Vim Prime but they were too small so I couldn't fit them so freaking sad. I just think it's a really great piece for the fall and the winter time. You'll always look a little bit more dressed up even if you're just wearing something like a t-shirt it'll still look cute hopefully this year i will find one when i'm thrifting okay so for my look <laughs> listen your girl was trying something i was like what black do i have in my wardrobe let me just go ahead i was thinking like try to pair leather stuff with leather stuff so i came up with this i really wish i could have switched out the knee-high boots for my strappy heels because i think that outfit just would have looked better but because i was really trying to like incorporate more leather or leather in this case that's why i did that the length of the dress is okay when i wear strappy heels but because i'm wearing boots the length of the dress should be shorter maybe I have to alter it if this is the way i'm going to be wanting to style it. I do really like this dress. I think it's really cool. It's from Zara. I thrifted this when I was in California. And overall, your girl was trying. That is a point. Just to have fun with your clothes and see what you could come up with. Maybe someone else that's watching this gets inspiration. So you never know. And then I actually did another outfit for this. This one I kind of went back to like that 70s like punk era because I'm wearing, I guess this is tartan. I thought I had this leather blouse, but I think I donated it. So instead I just wore like this satin one and then I put on a leather harness on top of that and I got this one from YesStyle. At first I was wearing my leather boots from the previous outfit. I think that made me look more, you know, like sexy teacher and I wanted this not to look like that. So I switched into my black Aloha's boots, which by the way, I do have an affiliate code down below if you, you know, were thinking about getting some shoes. Next trend is maxi length. So anything that is super duper long and that could be in dresses, skirts, or coats. Someone who is short, I prefer wearing things, you know, like mini dresses. I feel like that balances me out better. But if I am gonna wear something that's longer, you know, more maxi length, then I just have to make sure to pick the right footwear so I'm still getting some height, because if not, then I feel like, I'm just like, wow. So I did two outfits for this. First one, I don't, okay, what I was thinking was like, all right, I got this really long dress blouse thing. Then I was like, it would be really cool if I paired it with a skirt underneath and then kind of like a petticoat. I'm trying to be in this fantasy. I thought I would wear my little headband. It's kind of like a little baby crown. So yeah, I was feeling something. I don't know if I would actually wear this out, but I thought it was cool. Again, I wanted to have fun with my wardrobe. I think another option would have been just pairing this with like some straight leg jeans. I think that would have been maybe on trend. This is a little bit more out there but I still like it. For the second look I wore this a beautiful dress from The Line by K. Absolutely love this dress despite it being so long it just hugs my body so well but I'm really excited to wear this because it is fall time and when I got this it was during summertime. Now I am someone who sweats. I don't know if you are not human and you don't sweat but for the regular mortals we sweat okay I sweat a lot and summertime <laughs> like girl what i'm hoping is that come fall time since it's not going to be as hot i'm going to be able to wear this and i don't have to be as cautious about this 
this stuff peeking through, you know? But yeah, I thought this outfit was really cute and I don't know, I just feel really nice in it. For the next outfit, I incorporated two trends. The first one is the corporate dress code. Some things that are highlighted in this trend are the different styles of blazers. So there's the cinched blazers, ones that have cutouts, and structured oversized blazers. Neckties is also something else that we're gonna be seeing a lot of. Pencil skirts and three-piece suits. Now, I don't know if I would go out of my way to buy a necktie, maybe if it was like a really colorful one. And I also don't know if I would go ahead and buy a three-piece suit. If it was something that I stumbled across while I was thrifting, why not, right? So although I do not work in an office setting, I really like elements of this trend and one of them is the dress pants. I think they're a great transitional piece and it's something that's really easy to wear in different ways. You could wear a sweater on top of that if you want to just feel casual and comfy. You could put on a t-shirt, you could throw a blazer on top of that t-shirt and the dress pants and you got yourself a look. So I think the dress pant look has been trendy for the past couple seasons, but this time it's looking more office ready, I guess. And the next thing is a waistcoat trend. This is another great transitional piece because you like this over a t-shirt or a blouse or you could just wear it by itself even wear it with matching pants to make it more of like a full suit kind of look and this is also quite easy to thrift so make sure to check out a thrift store near you so for my outfit the top is one that I thrifted not too long ago but I have to alter it I just had it cinched in the back with like a hairband so that's why I was kind of like sh 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 trying to move it around and then I was wearing these pants that I absolutely love even though again I do not work in office so why do I need these pants but they are so flattering to my body they just fit so well and despite my fluctuating weight it fits each of those sizes because it's good stretchy material I'm actually also in the middle of altering this as well one side is a little bit longer than the other so sorry about that Turn on some white boots and then to make it more office ready I threw on this oversized blazer it was really nice getting this blazer out in the Sun again because I have not worn it in a long time and it looked cute all right so I also mixed two trends with this next outfit first one is a trench coat which like of course is fall time like of course we're going to see a trench coat you know but there are different kinds of trench coats there's like super light ones or more heavy duty ones and i recently thrifted one so that's why i was like okay i'm gonna wear this for this outfit and the second uh, trend that i incorporated into this was the over the knee boots which literally as i was writing up my little bullet points for for this video i realized oh natalie you have over the knee boots but instead for my outfit i wore cowboy boots because <laughs> i was like i don't have any and i totally forgot i actually do and i guess the reason is because this over the knee boots trend isn't like one that I feel like every girl has owned at some point which is that like suede tied in the back kind of boots no it's not that it's more structured it's more open at the top so that's why I guess like I my brain didn't connect that with that because technically it is still an over the knee boot but I do like how both of them look like so it's just a matter of preference for my outfit I wore this recently thrifted trench coat I paired it with a fun printed dress just because I wanted to play with some print I think this goes together because the yellow the brown and the white that I have in my boots are more neutral and then you have that one pop of color in the blue so I don't think this looks too crazy how I have been wearing this trench coat it's just like my pajamas I throw this trench coat on top and I go walk Albie that's like the best thing about outerwear is that you could just wear whatever underneath and go do some errands or something like that and nobody would know. So speaking of outerwear, our next one is oversized outerwear, which I would say it's more of like a statement outerwear. Some of the outerwear that is highlighted are like supersized faux fur teddy coats, but it's really any type of oversized outerwear. So if you were someone that bought like a giant puffer jacket, was it like last year or something, don't worry about it. It's still okay because it's still the oversized thing, but ultimately you shouldn't really be caring if something is not in trend anymore. I'm just gonna, I will always just let y'all know at the end of the day, you should not care if something is trendy or not. If you like it, wear it, that's it. But anyways, yeah, just in case you do care about trends or something like that, just letting you know the oversized puffer jacket, you're still okay. So for my look, it was just simple. I was like, okay, let me think of like a statement oversized. What came to mind was my House of Sunny coat that I have. And then I just wore a really simple slip dress underneath and I wore my same cowboy boots as well. I think in particular, this outfit that I'm wearing right now isn't something that I would wear in like early fall, maybe more in like maybe late fall-ish because this coat is very heavy duty. It is super duper warm. Again, I just wanted to show something that was oversized and colorful and that was it. Moving along, now we have saturated 
fuzzy knit. The type of knit that's being highlighted is that mohair fabric, but anything that's really fuzzy. So I'm seeing a lot of striped colorful sweaters and this like style, that fuzzy was trendy. I don't know if it was like last summer or the year before that, but that was more in like cropped like baby tee style while this is like full on like sweaters. I like this trend because it's a really great way to add in some texture into your outfit and overall it's just fun to wear. So for my outfit, I've actually been holding on to this sweater for years, for years. I've been meaning to actually donate it I think there's a time where I did I felt like it made me look too big and I was like I don't know if I like that or whatever but now I'm kind of getting over that so I was like wait a minute I have this sweater let me put it on and I kind of fell in love with it again decided to make this outfit a little bit more casual by just wearing some jeans and wearing some white sneakers my little statement though are my uterus earrings okay that my friend Shabnam has made I will link it down below please go ahead and get yourself some I was gonna make it into like a big kind of production but then I was like you know what Natalie not everyone is gonna go all out so why don't you try to show a little bit something that's a little bit more casual so this was my outfit for that playing off of the orange that we just saw in the last outfit for this outfit I'm also mixing two other trends and the first one is the burnt orange color I saw an article where they were talking about like fall colors that can be really popular and I decided to go with burnt orange I would say burnt orange is like the younger sister of the regular brown and orange tones that we associate for fall time if you're someone that can't wear bright colors for fall time because you're kind of like fall is more like muted browns maybe a burnt orange could be your gateway to potentially wearing more colors and then I mixed it with the lingerie romantic kind of style so this is anything like sheer slip dresses lace knit sweaters satin bras anything that's transparent essentially and you can pair it with more sheer stuff underneath or wear it with just like a really pretty bra so for my outfit it's probably one of my favorites maybe one of my most daring because there is no way in hell that I would wear this outside in the soul streets what I don't know would I go to jail for just being out in a bra like that I don't know <laughs> if I was in New York City I'd be like whatever you have seen more than this truly truly loved this outfit first I just picked up this like sheer dress they were going with orange I'm like oh well why not red because it's kind of like in the same realm oh wait this long scarf let's put that together I was wearing this red bra it all came together I think this looks so freaking cool I love it and then I even had some red booties again I don't know if I would wear it out but you know what I would do if I could find a red or orange mesh shirt then I wouldn't feel as naked to be wearing this out. I also mixed two trends with the next outfit and the first one is the bomber jacket which I will start off with. I do not like bomber jackets. I tried on so many and I feel like they just fall so weirdly on my shoulders. I don't really like the collar situation. I'm just like Ugh. but this trend and how I've been seeing it I was like okay I think I would like it more because it's more bold colors and it's actually oversized which I think it being oversized gives it structure. The type of bomber jackets that I've always seen has no structure to it so that's why I didn't really like it but I actually do own a bomber jacket but the reason is is because like I got it when I was in Tokyo and like I searched so so hard for it that I, I just can't let it go it's a very sentimental piece all right and the next thing are basics like literally just basics just like a regular cotton or knit tank top now I don't own like a shoulder like a shoulder I don't own a shoulder <laughs> Technically, my shoulder was dislocated at the time I was born. The doctor dislocated my shoulder, put it back in, and it messed up my other one. So that's why this shoulder is always like kind of wonky. Just a little, you know, the more you know, right? <laughs> I don't own like a tank top like that's like those thick ones, like a wife beater. But we're not calling it that. A man beater? Now. Person beater? No. But I was recently gifted a white tee, just a regular white tee t-shirt. I have a very colorful and statement piece filled wardrobe. Sometimes the problem I run into is that I'm like I don't have a neutral or basic to put things together <laughs> but 
a basic white tee will do just that for you. For my outfit, I wore my Tokyo Bummer jacket that I got at WeGo. I also paired it with these polka dot pants. I was gonna wear some heels, but then again, I was thinking of like, Natalie, you know, you're looking a little bit too dressed up. Why don't you just wear some boots instead? But I thought this was fun because I still have a pattern. There's a pattern on the bomber jacket, but because they do have the same colors on it, it doesn't look like it's clashing. And on top of that, I have the white t-shirt to balance everything. Another option that I did for this is just wearing it with regular jeans and some white sneakers. This is such a casual, cute little outfit. I like it. So we get to the next trend and that is like preppy style. And you can't really be surprised that preppy style is trendy for fall time because you could just think of clueless. You could think of just the fact that, you know, people are going back to school. So of course we'll be seeing school girl styles like pleated skirts, probably leg warmers, uh, ballet flats, varsity kind of bomber jackets, sweater vests, or even chunky platforms. For my outfit, I decided to go for colorful. Of course, you know I had to at least throw in one super colorful outfit outfit. I got in the pleated skirt. I got, you know, the plaid, the plaid? Yeah, I got the plaid jacket on top. I got that sweater vest and I decided to finally wear a colorful beret. I also wore these really cute Mary Janes that I got from Aloha's. You can find the link in the description box. But yeah, I thought this was really cute. I know there's a whole bunch of colors in it, but I think what brings it together is the blazer because that holds most of the colors that I'm wearing right now. I'm really excited to wear this pleated skirt out because every time I did want to wear it, I always end up trying to wear it for winter time. So this time I'm finally going to tell myself, Natalie, no, you're going to wear it now for fall time. Wear it now. <laughs> and for the last outfit I also added in that preppy style and I mix it with the last trend which is loafers you know I wasn't really the biggest fan of this type of shoe style and that's because I don't normally wear anything that doesn't have a heel you know I am a shorty I know my ego though is like six foot but my physical body she's short and for me loafers were a little bit too flat however now something like super chunky loafers exist and I finally got my hands on a pair they are also from Aloha's link will be down below I love this outfit. I love this outfit so much. I love that I have two different types of plaid together, but it works because we have the purple and the black that is similar. I also am really loving these loafers. It even has a little rhinestone detail. That rhinestone detail goes with the little detail in my blazer also, so I thought that was really cute. It is still colorful. I'm mixing in patterns, but because those colors are more toned down, it doesn't look as crazy. So maybe if you're kind of looking for a little entryway into pattern mixing, an outfit like this might do that for you. That is it, everyone, for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was really fun styling these outfits. Let me know what was your favorite trend from this video or if there's another trend that you really look forward to seeing out on the streets, on TikTok, on Instagram, on YouTube. <laughs> but yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hope this video finds you safe. Hope you are doing well. And that is it. Bye.